As Cambodia, our Khmer is the national language. As uh, 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 Phnom, uh, Chirai, or, or other the mother tongue is their uh, pride, uh, uh, their legacy. So everyone have a responsibility to uh, develop those uh, mother tongue. Hello, I am Rosie from Cambodian Net, and today I am delighted to be with Mr. Won Sum Ho, a country director of Eriak Chong Cambodia. Eriak Chong has been in Cambodia for 20 years, helping children get access to education, especially those in uh, remote uh, areas. Uh, Mr. Sum Ho, uh, thank you very much for being here with me today. And as we all know, February 21st is the International Mother Language Day, and Eriak Chong has been um, offering the multilingual education to children from the ethnic minority backgrounds. So first of all, what is bilingual education and when did it start? Uh, first of all, thank you for the Cambodian Nets and team for the opportunity to share. And of course, uh, on behalf of Ed Action, we really happy and see that annually the International uh, Mother Language Day was celebrated both uh, at international and, and in the country. Uh, multilingual education program was uh, adopted uh, by the government of Cambodia uh, as a policy and national action plan to ensure that the quality of education was uh, accessed and provided to those uh, minority groups. Uh, that in early age, in pre-primary, grade 1, grade 2 and grade 3, the children will speak, uh, train and learn in their mother tongue. So that's really important and that's a whole program, curriculum, uh, 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 master plan and other was set up to helping the ethnic minority who born uh, within different uh, 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 community can learn and can speak and can uh, communicate in their mother tongue language. So um, that means they can learn with both language in their mother language and in Khmer language. So then uh, what is included in the program? Actually in, in the early stage to make sure so that the children could learn because you know when their children was teach and learn in their mother tongue uh, from the UNESCO found that it create the critical thinking, it creates the uh, full understanding of their uh, content and, and, and the lesson. It still preserves their culture, their language. It creates a lot of uh, a good practice in the way children can communicate each other, communicate with the uh, teacher, with the textbook and school. It creates a lot of novelty among the children when the school teach in their own language. So that's that really important to make sure that the children was born in, in, in their own language, was able to access and, and, and study in their own, uh, in their mother tongue language in the early stage. And within uh, Cambodia, we encourage and support, of course, uh, support to make sure that the children at grade one, grade two, and grade three access to both uh, their own uh, mother tongue language and also gradually integrate uh, the national language, which is uh, uh, Khmer. So the children will learn for both their mother tongue and the national language is Cambodia. So uh, step by step, the children go to grade four, grade five, grade six, or to the secondary school. They can use both their mother tongue language and also the national language. So the mother tongue really, really important to make sure that the children, the community, and the school are continue to encourage and support for the mother tongue learning and teaching. Uh, the multilingual education has been there for twelve years, if I'm not wrong. Actually, it practiced in in many years. Uh, the national policy also uh, 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 continue to develop and up. They did uh, regularly, but it adopted more than 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and for Adaption, we've been actively engaged to support the implementation of the, of the national policy and action plan on the multilingual over 10 years, around uh, uh, 
uh, 12 years to make sure that the, the policy and, and, and framework adopted by the uh, royal government of Cambodia been fully transformed uh, to be action at the field for children. For the International Mother Language Day in 2024, what will be the theme? Uh, actually, the theme for this year is adopted by the UN. is looking for the multi multilingual uh, education as the foundation for the transforming uh, education. Because the, the UN uh, and the member states been adopt uh, the transformation uh, education framework toward uh, 2030 to make sure so that to reaching the goal of education quality education for all by 2030 education must be transformed both you know their uh, action uh, the fund and accelerate all the gap due to the COVID and other so to reaching the transformation in, in education the multilingual education was uh, identified as a, a, a founding as a core indicator as the they are the necessary to accelerate and, and support it. Uh, how many parts of Cambodia has a bilingual education reached to? Actually, in, in many uh, province uh, across Cambodia have a ethnic minority. We have different groups from uh, uh, Chirai, Phnom, and many other, even Kampung Spu in, in, in uh, Battambong and Pylon in Mantim and Che in Previhi, Ratanakari, Mundurgari, Kuchestan, Tri, etc. have different uh, uh, snake minority who still continue to practice, learn, and communicate in their mother tongue. So the, the concept that the uh, government, NGO, and other different actors continue to promote and support to make sure that those communities continue to use the mother tongue language being valued by different uh, different uh, actor, uh, government and, 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 and non-government actor. Yeah. Uh, how many primary schools um, have adopted bilingual, uh, multilingual education? Uh, I'm, I'm not really sure across uh, a country. There are various uh, actors, including Ministry of Education and other relevant ministry and NGO and continue to support. Uh, for ADAP Chong, we've been uh, work in multilingual for the last uh, 12 years. Uh, we support uh, up to 100 uh, schools uh, in various uh, province. And for today, this month, we continue to support around 150 uh, schools in uh, Ratanakari, in Kuchet, in Thubong Khmum, in, in yeah, a number of province and in that component we work to support for both uh, the infrastructure for the learning include the uh, classroom, uh, library, school, uh, latrine, walls and, and other and we also work to support directly to the uh, teacher and, 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 and children in capacity uh, building in school and uh, teaching material uh, in some province, we even support the incentive for teachers to run the multilingual. In the morning, they might study a uh, normal class. In the afternoon, the extra class provide to those uh, ethnic minority for uh, access to their, their, their mother tongue. Uh, for the past 12 years that Ada Action has contributed to uh, promoting uh, the multilingual education. What are the positive impacts that you have seen and you are proud of? Yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks so much. I found that a uh, government, both at the national and subnational, continue to value and put the multilingual uh, education as the priority, both in policy and action, in increase the national budget, and of course. Uh, investment to uh, empower the, the school in, in uh, those uh, uh, communes to continue to support. So that uh, something we congratulate to the government for continue to value and invest on that. And the second one is the community, uh, the parents 
the local authority been value the education. So they put education uh, as a top priority. They continue to uh, make sure so that their uh, children uh, access to the uh, school in pre-primary, grade one, grade two, and and continue to moving on. And the third one, I noticed that the uh, teacher uh, been uh, deployed uh, into the remote area, which is the, the ethnic minority uh, are living. Because still uh, a lack of teacher was there, but at least more and more teacher been uh, been support, uh, motivate, and the teacher itself been volunteer, you know, to move to the rural area and teach the children there. And of course, the last one, I see the learning outcome. Uh, I have a, a, a friend who are uh, Chirai children, and then he been actively uh, uh, coming to the city and working, contributing to, to their society. So we see that more and more uh, uh, children, students, and uh, adults, you know, from ethnic minority, been uh, uh, actively engaged in the social and economic development of, of Cambodia. And for it, I've shown like over around three to five hundred schools we've been support. We see the children been uh, at the secondary school, at high school, and some go to the teacher training college. And we believe that they will come back, you know, to be actively helping the community in their in their village. For the 12 year work of Eddie Action, what have you encountered any uh, challenges and what are they? The I think one main challenge there is still the the space to learn for those children That's because nice. uh, with the livelihood uh, challenge among the parents, they might need to migrate from one side to the other, or due to the livelihood, they might have a rotate uh, field work, uh, etc. So then, uh, to ensure that the quality of education was accessed for those children, it need a lot of resource and commitment uh, from both us, uh, ministry, and and the parent itself. The second one was a uh, teacher, uh, because you know to be uh, properly teach in the remote area of Ratanakuri, Mendogari, or Kuchastan Trang. So a high commitment among teacher was there, or the support was uh, needed. Uh, so uh, the turnover or the lack of teacher is still one of the problem. And among this, I found the ministry tried to solve the problem by recruit a local people and provide a priority for them to uh, be trained at the teacher training college and then come back to their village and become a teacher. So I see that that's one of the best um, um, solution that move forward, but I hope more and more teachers can uh, recruit, train, and come back to uh, teach and, and in, in those uh, remote areas. Yes. Uh, and what about the livelihood of the people there? As you mentioned, uh, some of the parents, they uh, uh, leave the community in order to find work, so that means their children have to come with them also. So with these issues, uh, what should be done you know, in order to encourage like, parents to stay there and also to like, push their children to go to school and learn? Yes, actually the livelihood is one of the key challenges that face among the uh, uh, parents uh, and community. And uh, it actually been working with partner uh, Organdon and other to address the livelihood uh, 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 challenge. And to make sure that we are able to address the livelihood in terms that we provide the direct support, we see that the children who can uh, understand and fully convince the value education continue to try their best, you know, and, and, and they don't drop, they continue to overcome all those uh, barriers and struggles, and they continue to study. So for us, we work for both. Uh, empower the parent uh, 
to overcome the livelihood struggle, but we also to build the space to learn, uh, uh, provide uh, direct support for children as a scholarship, as a income, as a, a bicycle, as a uh, many other solution to make that the children also can uh, be support and overcome their their challenge. And of course, the local authority, school, and other be very useful uh, for children and for parents to uh, continue their education. What would happen if the mother language of the ethnic minority group is lost in the future? Uh, I think that that really a big regret uh, for us as Cambodia as a country uh, we cannot restore it back if it lost so many countries lost their language and they really regret in later on in 50 years in 100 they lost all that language I, I believe we lost a lot of language and we don't really know so now uh, uh, less than 20 language uh, remain in Cambodia so it's our role and responsibility uh, to helping to make sure so that children from generation to generation in uh, the day they born and the day they go to school at least at basic education at primary education they still can speak communicate and learn in their own language so that's really helping you know to preserve their uh, culture the language the diversity the inclusive and all, all, also the beautiful of the country is mm -hmm. a mix of different culture, uh, yeah, different uh, uh, diversity among the citizens. And if we let it loose, and then we cannot restore because the language is is uh, built with uh, with the community, with the ethnic minority is one don't speak that language, it will be gone. Yeah. Uh, so I hope both uh, government and and and, and community and local actor continue to promote and helping the generation to generation you know to communicate speak and and uh, and reserve their language yeah uh, to what extent do you want to see the participation from the government and the relevant stakeholder you know join hand in order to um, help uh, uh, promote this uh, multilingual uh, education and preserve the language of the, the minority group? Uh, I noticed that the government try their best to develop the national policy among the, the ASEAN country. Cambodian was one of the top, was uh, leading in, in that role model to make that we recognize different language in the national policy and framework and continue to support it. Uh, beside that, we also want to see the local authority, the different uh, actor like parent itself, like the private sector, uh, business and other continue to promote and value the, the language because they, uh, we need a, a, a multi-stakeholder uh, uh, support to make sure that the, the skill, the language, uh, the job, the talent and other facilitation was available for for children, community, and especially the youth from their ethnic minority. Yeah. And uh, what are the future plan of Ere Akshong in order to um, enhance the work that you are doing right now and also make um, the multilingual education very accessible to many parts of Cambodia? Uh, at Akshong uh, continue to partner with the Ministry of Education, with uh, various uh, departments and, and local uh, partner NGO and, and, and school uh, to make sure that we provide both uh, technical uh, capacity, um, funding, support to those uh, actors to ensures that the uh, children uh, in pre-primary and primary was uh, teach and, and learn in their mother tongue and step by step we integrate the national language so hopefully from generation to generation the children 
who are at risk of uh, dropping out or marginalized our school children will be uh, uh, access to the quality of education and uh, children itself in access for the quality education in both their mother tongue and the national language. Uh, to conclude the conversation, do you have any message for uh, the International Mother Day 2024? Uh, thanks, thanks, thanks so much for the opportunity uh, for uh, sharing you this important event. Uh, for me, as Cambodia, I will come out as the national language as uh, 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 Phnong, uh, Chirai or, or other, their mother tongue is their, uh, uh, their mother tongue is their uh, pride, uh, 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 their legacy. So everyone has a responsibility to uh, develop those uh, mother tongue. So at least we put the priority uh, to make sure that the uh, children from those communities can learn, train and teach in their mother tongue. Uh, at the same time, we integrate other language, Khmer or English, but that, that uh, for me, we, I really wish uh, 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 all uh, different actors continue to support their education. Uh, in both uh, national and multilingual education program for, for all children. Okay. So thank you so much Mr. Sampo for um, guiding us to the importance of the multilingual education in Cambodia and hope that in, in the future the Action will continue to work in order to promote and give uh, the full access to education in Cambodia. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.